an opportunity to help. I like to help minorities. Magic Johnson had said that, you know, he would never attend a game while you were owner. Apparently he showed up to a game today. He would never what? Attend a Clippers game as long as you were owner. And he came today to, uh, to see the game. He's there at the game. Yeah. I, I don't think it's worthy of even discussing such a stupid remark. But he lulled me into waiting a week. Do you know what I mean? He said, don't do anything. He told you, saying, you're saying he told you not to say anything? Yeah, don't do anything. I know the girl. Don't do anything. I'll, I'll help you. I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. What you're saying is Magic Johnson called you up or you called him up? I don't know his phone number. He, he called, called you up yeah. when, when the tape broke. I don't call anybody. He called I'm you up. I'm loyal to you. He, he called you up when the tape came out and he told you not to say anything? Yeah. Saying? Why did he say, don't say anything? He just said, wait, be patient, I'll help you, we'll, we'll work it out. Why do you think he said that? I think he wanted me to just do nothing so he could buy the team. He thought maybe the whole thing would be resolved in two weeks. Mm. Well, well, what has he done? Can you tell me? Big Magic Johnson, what has he done? Well, he has, he's a business person. He, he's I, got AIDS. Did he do any business? I like... Did he help anybody in South L.A.? Well, I think he has HIV. He doesn't actually have full-blown AIDS. But. Uh, well, what kind of a guy goes to every city, has sex with every girl, then he catches HIV? And uh, Is that someone we want to respect and, and tell our kids about? I think he should be ashamed of himself. I think he should go into the background. But what does he do for the black people? He doesn't do anything. You call up and say... Well, he's, you know, he's, the opened, Jewish a he's, have he's a, opened a lot of businesses in, in inner people, city neighborhoods. The Jewish people have a company, and it's for people who want to borrow money and no interest. They want to give them a fish pole, fishing pole. We want to help people. If they don't have the money, we'll loan it to you. You don't have interest, one day you'll pay us back. So I, are, I'm just telling you, he does nothing. It's so, all talk. Are, so are you saying that African Americans don't? contribute to their to African American communities as much as Jewish There's people no African American oh, never mind. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. No, I, I wanted to apologize also to my partners. One simple thing. We move a father from the home and a child is nine times more likely to end up in prison, uh, six times more likely to drop out of school, uh, uh, sorry, 12 times more likely to end up in prison, nine times more likely to drop out of school, six times more likely to lead a life of poverty, right? One single element. And there are actually policies that since the 1960s have incentivized that for black America. That's when everything fell apart for black Americans. We were, our families were together, kids were performing better. I mean, it literally every, in every statistic, black Americans were doing better. Think about this under Jim Crow laws, mm -hmm. right, than they are doing today. Now, nobody would say America has become a more racist society since Jim Crow laws. If they did, they'd be disingenuous and they'd be lying to you, mm -hmm. right? So what happened? Well, you, you, you tore apart our families and you, you turned us into a culture of baby mamas, um, which is now reflected in our music. So when I talk about black culture and I say things that need to be changed, our music has taken a hit. Look at you with your little pop guns killing each other, robbing each other. You are the manifest evil. But what's the unseen power that's manipulating your ignorance, causing you to act as you act? You're not acting on your own power. You don't even realize you are being manipulated. All of the peoples of the earth, black, brown, red, yellow, and white, Jew, Gentile, Protestant, Catholic, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, the masses are being manipulated. All these comments, over a million views, about 10,000 comments or so, I, um, I saw a mixed reaction. 85% of the commentators agree with the Jewish man. And uh, the small percentage don't agree. And I'm mentioning a bunch of facets and excuses to why black America cannot unite. I posted that short video of that Jewish man denouncing 
Magic Johnson as example, and ultimately denouncing the black community, saying that there is no black American community because it's true. What he said is absolutely true. And we all know history. If you're educated, you know history. What has occurred in this system in America to keep blacks from progressing as people. But being black is a global thing. We have blacks of all creeds and different continents. We have blacks who have escaped war-torn countries, Liberia, for example, who have lost their whole families, who have come to America, gotten education, raised strong families, and flourished. We have people from Bosnia, all over the world, that have escaped hell, real hell and war, and have lost everyone, and have managed to come here through visas or whatever, become citizens and flourish in this country. My point is, your, your, your outcome isn't determined by your beginnings. Again, let me say this again. Your outcome isn't determined by your circumstances and your beginnings. Even a rose can grow out of concrete. Okay? In reference to black America. We have black American women now doing better than men. Black American women become entrepreneurs and they're more united. Than they help each other. They support each other. They love each other. Black American women. What happened to the black men? What happened to the black men? Black men need to adopt the same mentality as your women. It's, it's, a, it's a shame that I'm saying this. If you have children, you must raise your children. Whether or not you're with the mother or not, there are systems in place to ensure that you can be an active father. You better raise your children. That's number one. Number two, we have to value each other's lives as men. We have to hold each other accountable and not support detrimental systems in place. The music any kind of detrimental energy towards our people, us as men, we have to denounce it. But in short, men, a strong society, a strong community starts with this men. We need to pull up our socks. We have great black American fathers out there, but the majority of black men are failing, are literally failing, full of excuses. I found a I found it really, really sad and pathetic to see how many men are making excuses on the commentary. Excuses. Well, it's this, it's this. Listen, be a man. Be a freaking man. Be a man. Listen, we're running out of time. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. And it's up to you men to change the situation. I don't want to hear excuses. All I want to hear is progress. All I want to hear is gains. American men. Black American men, excuse me. Majority of you guys, majority of you guys are failing. Are failing miserably. Twenty twenty three is approaching. Twenty twenty three is approaching, and I've decided. I uh, ordered a new camera. I ordered a whole podcast setup. Um, I want to thank you all for following me. 
uh, we're at 10,000, I have almost 11,000 followers now, subscribers. And that was done within an eight month period. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. I read all your comments. I try to respond to all your comments, but um, you've now forced me. <laughs> this, this family, this unit, this channel that we've built, you've now forced me to post longer content. I had an agenda for this channel and I've decided to invest more time into this channel because there's a lot to discuss and there's a lot of growth that's needed. Okay, guys. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. There's a lot more coming, guys. Once again, thank you for subscribing. We hit 11K. Bottom of my heart, man. Thank you. One love.